Here we're going to solve educational code forces round 161, problem B, forming triangles. In this problem, we have n sticks numbered from 1 through n, and the length of the i'th stick is 2 to the ai. We want to choose exactly 3 sticks and form a non-degenerate triangle, and we have to calculate the number of ways to do this. We have up to 10 to the 4th test cases, and in each test case we have up to 3 times 10 to the 5th total sticks, and each of these sticks length is between 0 and n. To start this problem, let's take the let's take three sticks of the length two to the x, two to the y, and two to the z. And without loss of generality, let's put this in in, in decreasing order. So x greater than or equal to y greater than or equal to z. So if x is greater than y, then we know two to the x is which is equal to two times two to the x minus one is greater than or equal to 2 times 2 to the y, since x is greater than y, which is greater than or equal to 2 to the y plus 2 to the z, since z is less than or equal to y. So immediately, this is impossible by triangle inequality. So x must be equal to y, or our largest two sticks must have the same length. Now, using this heuristic, we can solve the problem. Now we have three sticks, two of length 2 to the y and the last of length 2 to the z. And we know y is greater than or equal to z. And using this, we're basically done with the problem. We simply need to count the number of ways to make triangles of this sort. And the, the way we'll do this is we'll simply keep, a tra keep track of the number of, tra uh, number of sticks of each length. So given each bucket of length ai, we'll keep track of the number of sticks of that length. Now say we have the four different values for ai, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And these appear five times three times, seven times, and two times, respectively. How can we count the number of triangles we can make? So within each bucket, what we first have to see is immediately, we know we can make, we can pick three sticks out of the bucket. So each of, so in our first case, we can add five to three. In our second case, we can pick three of, of AI equaling two, or we can pick two of these and one of the five sticks from bucket number one. Next, for our next case, with ai equals three, we can pick three from this bucket of seven, so seven choose three, or we can pick two and multiply by the number of sticks of smaller length, which is five plus three, or eight. Finally, in this last bucket, we can't possibly pick three sticks, so we simply deal with picking two sticks, which happens in two choose two ways. And then we'll multiply this by the number of sticks of smaller lengths, which is 7 plus 5 plus 3, which is 15. So essentially, in a close form, for, for us to code later, what we need to find is, first, we need to put all of the AIs into their buckets. So we need to find the number of numbers, such a number of i such that AI is 1, the number of i such that AI is 2, and so on. Then, after doing this, we have to make the following calculation. So within each bucket, we have to do the number of AI, choose 3, plus the sum of all smaller AIs, once we, if we sort them, times the number of numbers in this bucket, choose 2, since we're picking 2 of this length, and then multiplying this by the third side being anything smaller. And to find this last calculation, this sum of all the smaller uh, numbers of AIs, what we can do th here is we can just keep a running sum. So we can go from the smallest to the largest and calculate. To start this problem, we start with an integer t, which is our number of test case, which we'll input into and iterate through using a while loop. Within each test case, we have an integer n, which is the number of numbers we have. And then with this number n, we'll have other inputs. But first, we should keep track of the frequency of each AI as we needed to before. Remember, we don't care about the order they specifically appear in. We just care about how many of each AI appear. And from this, we can calculate our answer. So but to do this, we'll use a map between integers and long longs, which, and long longs because we'll make, it'll make calculations easier. Now we'll input into each of these frequencies. So we'll, to do this, we'll take in each of the values for AI uh, as cur. We'll input into this. And then we're going to add one to our frequently C list of cur. Now there are two things we'll keep track of. Our first is just going to be our answer, which is going to be a sum of the total number of triangles we can make, which is calculated as shown earlier. 
And we'll keep track of a long, long running sum, which is the sum of all frequencies less than the current AI. So now we just need to iterate through all the AI. So for, well, to do this, we'll iterate through our map and then take the second value, uh, which is the output of each, which is the frequency, essentially. So our current value, which we'll call our current number, or just num in this case, is going to be equal to the second value in, uh, in val, or val.second. Next, we have to do some calculations with this. First, if this value is greater than or equal to 3, then we can form triangles strictly from this current group of frequencies by doing this group of frequencies choose 3. So we'll take num times num minus 1 times num minus 2 over 6, which is essentially num choose six, 3, num choose 3. And in our next case, we'll just choose 2 from our current box and multiply this by all the smaller frequencies, which, is, which we've kept track of in our running sum. So we'll do this choose 2, which is num times num minus 1 over 2 times the running sum. So we'll do num times num minus 1 times the running sum over 2 in this case. Finally, within the for loop, what we want to do is we simply want to add to our running sum. And we'll add the current number of frequencies to our running sum for future calculation. And finally, we finish the problem. So all we need to do in this test case is output the answer by, um, by using the cout function. Now let's test this on code forces. So first we'll check the test case given to us. And as we can see, we've outputted 35, 2, 0, and 0 here. So we're going to put this into the code forces platform. Let's submit this and see what we get. So putting this in, we're going to run on the test cases. And as we can see, it's been accepted. Thank you for listening.